Hello, I'm Tyler Mines, and welcome to another how-to segment from CHTV. This episode delves into how to properly tear down a remote. The remote is currently fully set up, but by the end of the segment you will have a fully packed remote that has been properly torn down and will be ready to bring back to the storage closet. Let's first take a look at how to tear down the video component of the remote. The most expensive piece of equipment is the camera, which is why this is powered off first. Next, unplug the video cable and camera charger cord from the right side of the camera. Then, flip the lever and detach the camera. Hold the camera on top and place it into the video bag. The next piece of equipment to fold up is the tripod. Unclip the bottom levers and bring the tripod down. Then, reclip the bottom levers. Next, unclip the top levers of the tripod, slide the tripod up, then reclip the top levers. You now have another piece of equipment properly torn down. Great work. Now take out the video cable from the DVD burner and begin wrapping the long cord over your thumb. If you go under the thumb, you will not be able to take the cord off your wrist. Place it into the video bag. The next cord to wrap is the camera charger. Take the thick cord and wrap it vertically. Once you've reached the plug, rotate the box horizontally and wrap the thin cord. Great work! Now, unplug the jack from the back left corner of the DVD burner and then unplug the corresponding plug from the surge protector. Use the same technique to wrap the DVD burner cord as you did with the camera charger cord. Thick cord vertically, thin cord horizontally. Unplug the audio cords from the DVD burner and place the DVD burner into the video bag. The last piece of equipment to place into the video bag is the surge protector. Unplug the audio power cord and headphone power amp from the surge protector and turn the power off. Then, use the grip on the reel to wind up the cord. Great work! Now your video bag is properly packed. Let's survey the landscape before we properly disassemble the audio equipment. Unplug the power cord from the near side of the audio board and wrap it over your thumb. Tie the plug through the middle so it does not unwind. Locate the jack on the headphone power amp and unplug it. Then, wind the cord horizontally until it is fully wound. Once wound, place it into the audio bag. Now we are on to audio cables. These have already been unplugged from the DVD burner, but they are still attached to the XLR female jack found under the output sign on the audio board. Wrap the cord over your thumb, slide it off your wrist, and place it into the bag. Locate the gray RCA male jack on the audio board and the quarter inch phono cable on the headphone power amp and unplug both. Wrap this in a snake-like fashion. Unplug the headset from both the headphone power amp and the audio board. Repeat the process for the second headset. Place the audio board and headphone power amp into the box and then begin to wind the announcing headsets. Once this is done, place both headsets into the box and you are finished. This has been Tyler Mines on how to properly tear down a remote for CHTV.